it's Jessie and today I'm drinking jasmine green tea. I don't know how you pronounce the E with the accent uh, from tea spa, tea spa. Jumping in today, I'm gonna explain to you my new system for reading books. I figured, you know, if I'm gonna be a booktuber, uh, booktuber and try to uh, rate books with any sort of validity I should maybe come up with a better system than just this seems like a 3.4 star book so I came up with a few categories and I weighted them based on how important they are to me uh, in order to come up with that so the categories that I did characters gets 25% of it I I don't know that I'm more a character than plot person but I also the character section here encompasses a lot of things. It's how three-dimensional, how complex are the characters, how varied are they, is it they're really good complex characters but they all are the same, and then also character arcs. So there's a lot going into that one and that's why that one ends up weighted just a little bit more. Immediately after that is plot which gets 20%. This is the overall story arc and of course this is something that might look different if I'm lo looking at book one of a series versus you know a standalone. That plot point might vary a little bit but um, I figured that works. that's worth a really big pump, chunk what the story actually is. It's progression. What is the conflict? How is it resolved? Does it feel like it's a lot of contrivances? Things like that. Next on here, I labeled this one world building. It's worth 15% of the overall score grade. Is it coming through that I'm a teacher right now? Um, anyway, I labeled it that because I read more fantasy than anything, so it made sense to call it that. But it works even in like urban settings, in real world settings, just how well is the setting used? What is the purpose of it and I also kind of following into this is any messages the author is trying to get across just because this kind of seemed like this was just kind of the grab bag everything else category. Next is general appeal also for 15% this is just did I like it. This is a really purely subjective I mean all ratings are subjective but purely subjective did I like it or not rating. Next up is the style or writing so this is you know style and writing is it that's did I enjoy the prose you know something like the Farseer trilogy might get higher on this just because I really really like Robin Hobbs writing you know things like that next up originality is only worth five percent I don't care that much how original your story is but it does factor into some extent things like just are you just telling the same story I've seen a hundred times already it is boring to me so that gets a little bit and then the last thing 5% endings. Endings are a big thing for me so I figured I needed to include a category for this uh, just because it felt like a necessary thing to include. Those are the categories and I kind of went through and did a couple of examples of series I've read uh, just to kind of get an idea of how well this system works so that'll give me each one of those gets a rating out of 10 and then when that's done I go through based on the percentages to get a full score out of 10 and then divide that for the actual star rating, divide by two. So it's a score out of five at the end. So to give some examples of two series, one well loved to me, one I've recently read that was not very well loved, I kind of just went through and did an example. So for Wheel of Time, if we look at the entire Wheel of Time series, characters I gave a nine because they're all great. They're mostly all really well-rounded and they all almost all get really great arcs, even the less important characters. Plot gets an eight, as we know some of the plot lines are a little slower, things like that. Uh, world building 10, I think Robert Jordan does great with world building, it's probably his strongest facet. General appeal 10, I love Wheel of Time. Uh, style and writing got a seven, he, 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 good. And this is, I, I like what Daniel Green said recently in his video about how he rates. These aren't like grades. You get a grade and a 7 out of 10 is a C, that's not very good. Here a 7 out of 10 is solid. 7 out of 10 is pretty dang good. So, uh, originality, 7. Again, he borrowed from other things. Most things in the fantasy genre borrow from other things. But for the most part, he kind of made them in his own, added his own twist to them. And the ending is a 9. He didn't, wasn't a perfect ending, but it was really, really good. So, 
factoring all those through, it came out to a total of 8.7 out of 10, which would be a 4.35, which I would round to 4.25 because on story graph you have to do quarter points. So 4.25 out of 5. That seems about right for the overall Wheel of Time series. On the other hand, I tried the inheritance cycle to see what something on the other end of the spectrum came out to. Characters get a three, they're all relatively flat, don't really go through much other than Aragon and maybe Rohan, Ronan, his brother, aren't really utilized very well. Three for the character's plot, got a four. I gave that a little bit more because, you know, the story's okay. World building is a six. I actually think Paolini does a pretty good job with his world building. I think he could have done more, but I didn't think it was terrible. General appeal too. I didn't like it. Uh, I nothing more to say about that. Style and writing seven. I like Paolini's writing, especially toward the end. I think he has a good style, and I'm really looking forward to Sleep in a Sea of Stars. Originality four. I. I almost think I could have gone lower on this because the more I learn about other classic fantasy, the more I see things he borrowed, but I gave him a four. And then the ending is two. I hated his ending. He does the ending that never ends. Mm -hmm. Anyway, and so that comes out to an average of 4.1 out of 10, which would be a 2.05, or that would be rounded down to a two out of five stars, which is about what I would have given the full series. So I think this is kind of coming up with the same sim very similar ratings to what I would overall give books anyway, but it's just a way to help refine it better. So now when you watch my review episodes, uh, you might have a little bit of a better idea of what I'm talking about.